Hello, dear ranchers. Today I am going to show you how to draw a slime. It is very simple. Draw a circle, two dots for the eyes, and then a mouth. You're pretty much done. Okay, fine. I will go in much more detail on how I usually draw slimes. Keep in mind, I am using Photoshop for most of my illustrations. With that said, let us begin. First things first, is designing your little slime. How I start off is basically I thought of some form of snow slime, specifically a tabby within a snowy environment. That's why the tabby you see on screen is mostly white. Of course, I did put a little bit of pale yellow on the slime rather than pure white, just to give it that nice coloration touch, that's all. During the process, I was thinking mostly based on a snow leopard, I believe? Some sort of snow cat, I'm not too sure. I even made the tail very puffy, poofy, similar to a fox. During my process, I kept it very simple. I started with a circle, obviously, and then gradually just played around with different design choices. I was wondering how I'm gonna make the ears, the tail, the face, especially the face, it's very important. I tried to make it cute as possible. Just don't be afraid to use references, and that's why I mostly did. I use a tappy, cats, photos, you know, the usual stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't really use a snow cat reference. I should have done that very beginning. I made the design in a very last minute. So that's why that the tappy slime you see before you is very simple. <laughs> when it comes to design, this literally everything. The silhouette is very important. It helps people identify what sort of character it is. A good example of this is think of Mario from the Super Mario Brothers franchise. Just seeing his normal silhouette, you instantly know, poof, that's Mario right there. Same thing with drawing slimes. You gotta figure out what design that will make the person figure out, oh, that's that's a tappy. That's a boom. There's many ways to go, go up, uh, about this. The, ne the next design, I went with a arctic seal, yay, in slime form. This time, I used an actual arctic seal reference to help me. The original design did, ha did include little hands or fins, I guess, little, little head fins. I don't, I don't know what's going to put it, but I scratched that completely because it didn't really, look, it did not look like a actual slime. I went with mainly the tail, little puffer ears, and the uh, usual, usual face. That's it. Like I really want to keep the little paws with little. Do cute little hands, but I just no, I I I just couldn't. It didn't look like a actual slime, at least to me. If you guys like the design of how I had it originally? Just let me know. Let me know. I'll probably keep it how, how it is. Again, the design is extremely extremely simple. That's all I really wanted. I mainly did this as to show you guys how I usually draw slimes. Obviously, the style is definitely taken from the from the current game artwork. Why? Because I like the style a whole lot. It's very simple. Something that I always had a struggle with. If you know my current artwork style, it's kind of realistic, cartoonish real realism. But with the current artwork in the game, it helped me to really branch out with different styles. I wish I knew who's the art director in the game, art designer. I wish I knew. I wish, oh gosh, it's slipping my mind. I'm deadly sorry, but I like I like their style a whole lot. It's it's very beautiful. The main things you gotta keep in mind is design, experiments, and the overall cuteness of your slime. Will people love it? Will people may may not want to keep in in their little gorel? Uh, Those are the questions you gotta think about. I seen so many people create such a unique spread of the slimes. Don't be afraid to create your own. Even the most ridiculous designs can be the most amazing thing ever. Like the saying goes, simple can be good sometimes. That's basically it. I hope you guys love this small little video. Sorry if I didn't really do much with it. Keep in mind, it's just a small tutorial that slimes. There's not much you can do when it comes to characters that are just mainly, mainly around. Despite that, I hope you guys still find it helpful. If you guys have any questions, concerned, please let me know down below. Like always, stay delicious.